Now, without further ado, I'm sure you're tired of my voice. I'm going to take a seat and really show you what tonight is all about. So the first person who's going to come up here, our special guest, just to say hello. Now, um, she appeared in the 2008 Black Britannia exhibition in London and was also included in the list of Britain's 10 most powerful black women and the 100 great black Britons. Please welcome the first black high court judge in UK, Dame Linda Dobbs. Please put your hands together. I think she deserves a bit louder than that, guys. Thank you. We'll get you here somewhat, somehow. <laughs> I hope this space. We didn't have an entrance for her. We could keep the round of applause going because it's just, I think she needs to see that when she makes a round. Finally. Um, I look around here and I feel nothing but pride and I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to the Ilfa family. We have here founders, previous speakers, secondees and board members, current sponsors, board members, advisory board members, Ilfa officers, new secondees, other supporters, and many guests. And so welcome to this very, very special occasion, which is the 10th anniversary of um, ILFA. We're having no long speeches tonight. I mean, when you've got a funny man like this, you don't want long speeches <laughs> from us, do you? Um, it's a time for celebration of the achievements of ILFA and the contribution of all those um, who have been involved with ILFA. You've got, I hope you all had one, a very nice and informative brochure um, on your seats, which tells you all about ILFA's achievements and the people involved. And you can see how ILFA has developed from its original flagship program to three programs now. The new ones being the Inter-Africa program and also Angaza Africa, the e-learning platform, which is being run and taken to great heights by Nicole Kearsey. This is all a great achievement by ILFA, and we should be very proud of the efforts of all of you who have taken part in ILFA's journey. But without the vision of the founders and the hard work and support of all of you here, we would not have achieved what we have. It's my last year as president. I agreed to serve an extra year until June 2018, not least because I wanted to be in post for this very special um, occasion. But also, I have to say, because of my commitment to the fantastic and important work that ILFA has done, is doing, and will continue to do. It's building legal excellence in Africa, and it's strengthening the rule of law. This is serious stuff. And in fact, I'll just do a plug for something else that I do. It complements the work of the Judicial Institute for Africa, of which I'm director of training at the University of Cape Town, where we offer um, training courses for judges in Africa. So again, uh, an initiative that is strengthening the rule of law and very much complementary with the work that ILFA um, is doing. But I'm not the only one stepping down um, from ILFA, however. Anna Gardner is stepping down as executive director at the end of this year. Now, Anna has made a massive contribution, and there she is, to ILFA in her different roles, because she hasn't just had one role. She's had different roles in ILFA, but more particularly in the last role, and that is how I've really got to know um, Anna. We've worked closely um, together, and I have seen how she has taken ILFA to another level beyond our expectations. She will leave ILFA in a good place, healthy and with a vision for the future. And it would take all evening to set out what she has done for ILFA. But I can say, sum it up by saying this. It has been transformational. The work and application was formidable. She was told the commitment, I think it was about eight hours a week or something, when she was originally asked to do it. And 
it's more like full time plus, without a doubt. I know how much she's been involved, and Graham, you know how much she's done, don't you? <coughs> Um, I can't thank Anna enough for her invaluable and lasting contribution, and I'm going to ask for a standing ovation, please. We're currently advertising for a replacement. <laughs> it's going to be a hard act um, to follow, but if there's anybody you think might fit um, the bill, please encourage them to apply. Similarly, if you have any suggestions for president, um, please let us know. Um, I must mention, although I don't, I'm not sure I've seen her tonight, I must mention also Gemma Steele, who is stepping down from our... Board of Trustees. Now, Gemma looks far too young to be a trustee, but she told me that she'd been involved in ILFA since its inception. She's been a real stalwart um, in ILFA, and in particular with her work with the Working Committee, which has provided such um, support to ILFA, and I thank <coughs> Gemma very much for that and wish her um, well. Now, I think really it just remains me for me to say this. Um, it's my last dinner as president, and I'd like to say and take the opportunity um, just to, I suppose, express how I have thoroughly enjoyed my engagement with Ilfra. I feel quite um, sort of choked about it, actually. Um, I have met so many interesting and impressive people from the continent, and I can truly say that Africa is doing it for itself in collaboration with our friends here, our friends in Dubai, our friends in Paris. And so I'd like to end um, by wishing you all a very, very happy evening. Um, enjoy it, treasure the friendships, and please continue to support us. Thank you very much indeed.